Good morning, people, or good afternoon. Uh, my name is Joel, I'm here at Earth Tools, and we're gonna talk a little about adjusting cables on a walk-behind tractor. And this actually goes for adjusting control cables on just about any piece of equipment, but we're talking specifically about a BCS walk-behind tractor today. Same applies to our Gorilla walk-behind tractors and many other types of equipment that use control cables. So, uh, typical control cable adjustment is you want to adjust the amount of slack that's in the cable. That's what adjusting a cable is. Um, here is a clutch lever on this particular tractor. You can see that's how much slack is in the cable because I'm not moving the cable right now. I can feel when it starts to get the resistance of actually pulling the cable. Well, that's too much slack. So that whatever control function this is, uh, you know, working on the tractor down at the bottom is not being operated to its fullest extent. So the easiest way to adjust any cable is to utilize the hollow adjustment bolt. It's, uh, to me, I grew up around equipment like this and it's just obvious how these things work, but a lot of folks don't quite understand the concept. So we're gonna run through it real quick. This is the jam nut. That's what jams this bolt in place to keep it from just vibrating around. This is the hollow adjustment bolt. We call it hollow because it's drilled, it has a hole drilled right down the center of it and the cable actually passes through the bolt and out the other end and is hooked to the lever. This, the outer black part, is called the sheath. The inner part is the cable itself, which you can see exposed on this one right here. The sheath on this one is kind of nestled up in here. But those are the terms just to get them straight. Sheath, hollow bolt, jam nut, cable on the inside. You can't see the cable on this one right now. If I pull this and you look up in here, you can barely see the, well, you probably can't see it, but it's, it's right there, my finger's touching the cable. So, anytime we wanna take the slack out of a cable, and we can know this, this one's got a lot of slack, we can also feel that slack right here. I can move this sheath in and out of that hollow bolt. That's how much slack is in the cable. So if I wanna tighten this cable, what has to happen is this adjustment bolt has to go this way. It has to push this sheath further away from the anchor point of the cable. The cable is anchored to this lever right here. I can't change how that cable is attached to that. There's no adjustment there, but I can push the sheath further away. So I've loosened the jam nut already, so I back this bolt out. That pushes the sheath out just like I was doing here, except I'm doing it permanently now with the bolt. Now there's a little bit of slack, but not much. I'll bring it out a little more. Okay, now there's very little slack. You want some slack. You never want it completely tight. Now that's how much slack is in there. That's actually, that's a little too little. I'm gonna bring it back in, I'm gonna turn. Yeah, that's about right. Yep, that's, uh, that feels good. Now, on cables that have an end where one end of the cable is actually held in a pinch type clamp, uh, and we can look at that on the brake cables right here. Like this cable passes through a clamping assembly with a screw that goes in and, and just pinches, the cable kind of passes through and the, uh, the th cast passes through a hole in the body of the clamp. The bolt goes in and pinches the side of the cable to hold it in place. On that type of cable, you can also adjust the cable slack down here at the bottom. That is, if you run out of adjustment at the hollow bolt at the one end of the cable, you can uh, loosen up this pinch bolt here, pull the cable through the clamp more, so there's more cable exposed on the outside of the clamp, and then retighten the pinch bolt. Um, and depending on what type of cable you're adjusting and, and what model tractor it is, sometimes the, the hollow adjustment bolt is located down here at the bottom end, which you can see on these two cables. Sometimes the hollow adjustment bolt is at the top end. Sometimes there's one at each end, which is great. Um, sometimes one of the ends of the cable has a pinch clamp that can be adjusted, but you never want to adjust the cable on the pinch clamp until you extinguish the adjustment possible with the hollow bolt, because that's so much easier to deal with. Uh, and some cables are a fixed length, like these here with the eyelets on the end. You can't adjust that cable in terms of its length. There is no pinch clamp. It's a fixed end on both ends of the cable, so you can only adjust it with a hollow adjustment bolt. So that's the concept. Anytime you need to take slack out, the hollow adjustment bolt needs to push the sheath back away from the anchor point of the cable. If you want to increase slack, you bring the cable, you can bring the adjustment bolt in because there's some cables that actually get tighter, which doesn't seem to make sense. But clutch cables, for example, on a standard clutch machine, as the clutch plate wears, the cable actually gets tighter and the clutch cable needs to be loosened up or you'll burn up the clutch. So um, anyway, 
But now you've got the basic concept. Go adjust your cables. Thanks for watching.